Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bree if you are new here and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys my morning and night skincare routine. Thing I am struggling with is hormonal acne and after a lot of trial and error over the past year and ending my birth control I think I found the root of the problem and so I'm gonna share those steps with you I'm gonna start with my deep oil cleanse from DHC uh, I use this to remove my makeup but it also works as a double cleanser and I love it double cleanser is the best thing that has worked for my skin it really helps penetrate that extra layer it gets underneath there especially since this is like a full-blown oil so to use it you want to dispense about two to three pumps into dry hands and then you wanted to massage it onto your dry face to dissolve any makeup or other impurities like i said it really gets underneath that layer of skin and really just clears out your pores after that, you're going to rinse it thoroughly. When you put water on it, you're going to notice it turns white. That means you did a good job. <laughs> After that, I'm going to do my actual cleanser. At night, I like to use something that's a little bit more hydrating. I use the La Roche-Posay Gentle Foaming Cleansing Oil. It's good for dry to extra dry skin. I'm more dry than normal, but this really does a great job on me. Um, it's suitable for babies and it gives 24 hour hydration, so I just love that. It really leaves my skin feeling nice and soft and plump. You pump about one to two. I typically do one because one is enough and I use my little so to start I pump one pump onto the little sponge activate it with water and swirl it up so the cleanser can activate you want to make sure that you rub your cleansers so they activate or it's just gonna clog your pores so after I rinse my cleanser off I'm gonna take a dry towel or dry wash rag and just dry off my face now once I do the clean towel, I am going to dermaplane my skin. Dermaplaning your face is basically clearing off that top layer of dead skin on your face. So it makes your skin look really revitalized and plump and it makes it nice and soft and gives you a really even texture. I try to do this every like two weeks. Um, my mustache area, I try to get that at least once a week, but this is like a two to three week thing. This is not an everyday process. So to get it done, you start by grabbing your face really tight and then you hold your skin real tight and while you do that hold the blade at like a 45 degree angle and drag it across your face or in quick soft motions that you'll see the dead skin kind of rise and clear as you can see in the video and then I'm going to put on a mask uh, at night I tend to want to hydrate a lot I mentioned that earlier I like to soak in hydration at night because in the morning time my skincare is a lot less intensive so I don't use this product every day every other day works for me I use it like three times a week um, it is the Fenty skin cherry dub it's called blog to bright uh, it's a face mask you're supposed to put this on in an even layer on your face on dry skin so that's why I said dry your face off after you wash it and then you're supposed to put it on dry skin you leave it on for about 10 minutes so I'm just gonna put this on my face and then I am going to go get dressed lotion my body you know finish up my nighttime routine while I let this sit I'm taking a hot rag and I'm gonna use that to clear the mask off and then I'm going to dry my face with a clean towel I take my Fenty Skin Fat Water. This is the hydrating milky toner one, not the like the original formula. I love this formula. I love it so much better than the original. This one kind of smells like tea. You know what I'm saying? Like it actually smells like tea that the aunties be drinking. And it smells so good and it leaves my face feeling like so soft and it just feels nice and cleansed but not overpowered. And the smell isn't like a rosy smell at all it's a nice subtle tea it's just very relaxing it's a very relaxing toner um it's good for hydration and it's good for people with sensitive skin like myself i'm gonna take 
my hyaluronic acid from the ordinary it has b5 in it i'm going to take about two drops one on each cheek i'm going to use this to add an extra layer of hydration into my face it's really going to soak into my skin my pores just make sure that i'm nice and hydrated throughout the night after that i'm going to use my kiehl's ultra facial cream this is 24 hours and it's a super hydrating formula it's great for normal to dry skin it is perfect it's been really like helping with my hormonal acne because i know things that have been a little bit more hydrating have kind of been sitting and clogging my pores and i need my pores nice and breathable and this is a very lightweight breathable moisturizer that i can wear even in the daytime i don't but I could wear it in the daytime and it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like I have a lot of stuff on my face. I'm also going to use the Ilia Bright Star Activating Eye Cream. This has retinol in it. So what I do is I typically take about four dots underneath each side, three to four dots. And then I use the round side of the applicator and I use that to smooth in the product. I try to get underneath my eyes because I am getting older and I want to make sure that my eyes are nice and bright and awake when I wake up. And then whatever is left, if there is some like leftover, I use my fingers because for some reason your fingers just really push product in the best. I use that to just kind of fill out the rest of the areas. Finally, for my final step of my nighttime routine, I'm taking my Laneige Lip Sleep Mask. Uh, this is the Gummy Bear flavor. It's so good. Yeah, it's so good. It's super hydrating on my lips. Like when I wake up, my lips be soft, y'all. I'm talking about lip smacking soft, okay? They be so nice and plump and juicy. I just love it. And it tastes good too. Yes, I said taste. Mind your business. Good morning. We are back and it's time to do our morning skincare. So, to start off, of course, I'm going to wash my face. Wash your face twice a day, funkies. Yes, I'm talking to you in the back. I love the La Roche Pousset Hydrating Gentle Cleanser for my morning routine. It's good for normal to dry skin. It's so, uh, it has no soap, no fragrance, sulfates, all that. And it has niacinamide in it, which I love. So... I'm going to take one of my dehydrated sponges once again, but this one's a little bit different. So with a gentle cleanser, gentle cleansers don't foam and soap up because this one doesn't have soap in it. It doesn't soak the way that my oil cleanser did last night. So after I finish washing my face, I am going to rinse it off and dry it with a dry towel or once my face is dry I'm going to take a toner my steps in the morning are a lot more mild than my steps at night trust me y'all trust me so I'm using the fresh rose deep hydrating facial toner it does have real rose fruit extract in it and hyaluronic acid it is really nice and really gentle on your skin I'm just gonna take this on a cotton pad and just Use it to clear out any imperfections or any dirt left on my face after cleansing. I'm actually going to take the Invisible Mighty Patch. You see this pimple on my forehead, y'all? Y'all see that? She's trying to peek through, but not today, Satan. I am taking the Mighty Patch, and I'm just going to take that and stick it right on the forehead so I don't get any of my extra products in that area. All right, next up. I am sticking true and try. I am taking the Ordinary Niacinamide. It also has some zinc in it. I'm going to take two drops on my cheeks. And then after that, I'm going to rub thoroughly. Make sure that I soak that in the skin, on the forehead, and in the neck area. Now, I am taking for my under eyes the Pixi Beautify Brightening Eye Patches. I like these. They're gentle. They have a hard time staying on though, I'm not gonna lie. They're uh, they're very, very silky, um, but they are really hydrating and they're really good. Like they wake my eyes up a lot. I think they do. And you just let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes or you know, while you're drinking your coffee, whatever you gotta do. I'm going to take the Super Goop Glow Stick. 
It has SPF 50. I know this is typically supposed to be worn like over makeup, like on the cheekbones and stuff like that, but I like to use it on my face. So I typically kind of like rub the top layer off each day just in case. And then after that, I will rub the product all over my face, including the eyelids. Do your eyelids, they're sensitive, and on my chest area. And then, of course, I got to take my Burt's Bees chapstick, the coconut and pear. It really seals off my skincare routine. So, I'm just gonna put that on. Like I said, I've been dealing with like a lot of hormonal acne, and so this has been working for me. A lot of, if you watch my previous videos, a lot of the marks that I've had on my face have started to dissipate, and the Problem areas that I've had before are no longer those areas because of me finding and sticking to a routine so a lot of these products like the mask I don't use every day but some of them I use routinely and it works find what works for you I hope I was able to help I hope you guys like this video um, if you have any you know if you like this video or you want to see more of these things, my beauty content, uh, like and subscribe. Send a comment below. How are you guys? I hope everything's going good. Yeah. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.